The Pyramids of Giza. 1. Egypt is in the north of Africa, and people have been living there for thousands of years. It has become well known for its ancient culture and famous monuments. Probably the most famous and amazing of these monuments are the pyramids of Giza and the surrounding structures. When they were first built, they were surrounded by desert. The boundaries of Greater Cairo have moved closer and closer so that Giza, a suburb of Cairo, now sits right on the edge of this ancient site. Instead of being surrounded by desert, one side of the pyramids now faces modern restaurants, shops, and homes. In 1979, the pyramids of Giza and other ancient ruins in Egypt were listed as World Heritage Sites. The pyramids of Giza are part of a site that contains many different structures. There are three main pyramids plus several smaller ones cemeteries, temples, and the Great Sphinx. As archaeologists continue their research, more and more amazing pieces of Egypt's history are being uncovered. Even in ancient times, people were fascinated by the pyramids of Giza. The biggest of them, the Great Pyramid, is the only structure still standing from a collection of monuments named by ancient Greeks as the Seven Wonders of the Ancient World. Herodotus, a Greek historian, visited Egypt about two and a half thousand years ago. He wrote about the Great Pyramid of Giza in a history book. His Egyptian guides told him that it took 20 years to build the Great Pyramid. He was also told that it took as many as 100,000 slaves to build it. Of course, what makes the pyramids so incredible is that they were built before the introduction of modern technology. The ancient Egyptians did not have the kind of equipment that we use today, but their building techniques were very advanced. The pyramids of Giza were built many thousands of years ago. Explorers, Archaeologists and scientists have been discovering their secrets for centuries. The Great Pyramid is thought to have been built for King Khufu. Behind this pyramid stands the Pyramid of King Khafre, who was the son of Khufu. Behind the Pyramid of King Khafre stands the Pyramid of King Menkaure, who was the son of Khafre. The three main pyramids at the ancient site of Giza are thought to have served as tombs for the kings after they had died. Kings in ancient Egypt were called pharaohs and were also considered to be gods. Along with these three main pyramids, there are eight other much smaller ones. Four are next to the Great Pyramid of Giza. Three of these are believed to have been built for King Khufu's queens. The ruins of the fourth, smaller pyramid are a mystery because no one is sure what its purpose was. The pyramid of King Khafre also has the ruins of a smaller pyramid next to it. The remaining three sit next to King Menkaure's pyramid. They are thought to have been built for his three wives. The cemeteries near these pyramids contain tombs of varying sizes and styles. The tombs were used for members of the royal court and high officials, as well as local workers. The temples found within the site are believed to have been used for rituals and ceremonies connected with the burial process. Several boat pits have also been found near the Great Pyramid. The pieces of one of the boats have been removed from its pit and rebuilt. It now sits in a special museum next to the pyramid. Finally, the Great Sphinx sits in front of the Pyramid of King Khafre and is believed by some to be the guardian of the area. The Great Sphinx is one of the largest sculptures to have ever been carved out of one piece of rock. Its body is that of a lion and its face is that of a man. But there is debate as to which pharaoh's face was used as a model. The largest of the structures at Giza is the Great Pyramid. Some researchers say that the Great Pyramid is at least 10,000 years old. 
More modern research and testing, however, have made some researchers believe it is somewhere between 4,500 and 5,000 years old. The original height of the Great Pyramid is estimated to have been around 147 meters. But due to its outer layers having been stripped away, it now stands at about 138 meters. It was also considered the tallest building in the world until the 14th century when Lincoln Cathedral in England was built. The Great Pyramid is about 230 meters long along each of its four sides. It was positioned so that it almost precisely faces north, south, east, and west. High priests, some of whom were also astronomers, helped to decide the position of the Great Pyramid. When deciding the position of a pyramid, it is thought that these priests considered its position in relation to sacred stars. The Great Pyramid of Giza is made up of about 2.3 million blocks of stone. Each one of the blocks that was used to build it weighs about two and a half tons on average. Centuries of exploration inside the Great Pyramid has revealed some of its secrets. It has three main chambers and several passages. One of the chambers is underground and carved into the rock in the ground. The other two are above ground and are known as the Queen's Chamber and the King's Chamber. The Queen's Chamber was named by early explorers who thought the Queen's body was placed there. However, scientists have proven that this chamber was never meant to keep the body of one of Khufu's wives. It is now thought that the chamber was meant to house a special religious statue of the king himself and other funeral gifts. The king's chamber is placed the highest of the three chambers inside the pyramid. It still holds the granite coffin of King Khufu, which was found empty without its lid. Nobody has managed to find this huge lid.